In hundreds of seconds, the six weeks in Hickory have been eternity for the drivers and teams on the Bush Grand National Tour. Today, it's back to business at Nazareth Speedway. A strange combination of super speedway speed, short track action, and road course different left turns, where danger lurks around any one of those five oddly shaped corners. But that was last year. Today, everybody's ready to get their race face on. Everybody and welcome to Nazareth, Pennsylvania, a unique five-cornered oval that will test these Bush teams today. And they've had six, and with the rain out at Loudoun, seven weeks off. I'm Mike Joy, standing with David Green. And it's been kind of David Green's dream season. Top of the points, top of the qualifying orders today. Things have gone just great. It's been perfect, Mike. I, my hat's off to all the Caterpillar racing team. Uh, gave me a great race car week in and week out. And, Finally, it's just David Green has to do his job, and so far, so good. But we're enjoying our trip to Nazareth here, and I have to question you one thing. That's six corners here, not five, and not four, but six. And some drivers say three. That's how unique this racetrack is. Now, yesterday, you qualified and practiced in overcast, cool weather. Today, it's nearly 90 degrees. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different, but I tell you, Goodyear's got us another great race tire here, and, uh, you know, the track's in good shape, and we just kind of slip and slide in the heat today, but uh, hopefully everybody will do a good job. I know my Caterpillar Chevrolet is awful good, and whether it's, uh, it's good, cool conditions or hot conditions, so we got our fingers crossed. All right, well, David on the pole is no surprise, but the man who's starting fourth, where did he come from? Steve Burns? Mike, he comes from Emporia, Virginia, and his name is Sadler. Elliot Sadler, the younger brother of Bush Series regular Hermie Sadler. Elliot, you start fourth. The question is, can you win this race today? Uh, we might if we stay out of trouble. Uh, yesterday afternoon, the last practice, had a real good race call. Uh, we made a few laps with Randy and Mike. And uh, uh, if I can just stay out of trouble, you know, and uh, I think we'll be okay at the end. All right, well, best of luck to you, Elliot. Folks, let's take a look at some truck footage. Last weekend in Monroe, Washington, Mike Bliss races to victory over Ron Hornaday, crew chief Barry Dodson coaching him to victory, and he'll be with Mike Joy today. I'm standing here with Randy LaJoy. He's second in points. He's starting third today on the inside, a good spot. Randy, I've been around this track this morning in the pace car. It's awfully tough, awfully tight, not many places to pass. You're real aggressive. Are you gonna attack this place or how are you gonna run this race? Well, it depends on what these guys give me as far as the race car. I've had a good race car all week. We tested well up here. You know, the base motorsports route has given me some good race cars all year. Uh, if we get out in the front, I'm just going to run as fast as I need to. But if i got to chase somebody, I'm going to run it hard. Uh, it's kind of a fun racetrack. Uh, you got to keep, uh, keep all your marbles together because you got six or seven turns. I'm not sure how many there are. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. So, uh, hey, we're going we're gonna to run as hard as we can. Uh, and what it gives us, we're going to take. And uh, if we have to take a little more, we'll have to just pull the belts a little tighter. Okay, good luck and thanks a lot. I love that. Seven turns. That's the most I've heard from anybody yet. <laughs> it's a strange track, and folks, the weather this weekend has been stranger. We'll tell you about that right after this. As little as a thousandth of an inch of motor oil separates your car's engine parts, but friction and heat can make motor oil become volatile and vaporized, weakening its ability to protect expensive parts. Texaco Haviland Formula 3 controls volatility, fights vaporization, and provides complete engine protection. No matter what you drive. Add more life to your car. Take it to the star. Get a dream team basketball with a 12-quart Haviland Formula 3 or 6-quart Haviland Synthetic purchase. At AutoZone, most of our customers are folks who like to work on their cars themselves. But the ones who come in most often are those who work on cars for a living. Guys like Ed Graven. Now, Ed's garage is in Ogden, Utah, where most of the time you'll find him pulling an engine or sliding under a car. And just about every day, he drives past a half dozen other parts stores on his way to AutoZone. Because Ed knows that when it comes to getting the right part for the right price, there's just no place better than AutoZone.
protect your engine, remember, Pure Oil now, Pure Oil later. Pure Oil later. In the Stanley Laboratories, we find out just how good our decorative mirror doors are by opening and closing them over 100,000 times. Funny, isn't that the same way you do it? Decorative mirror doors from Stanley. Too much acid in your pipes? Better call Rainsoft. Today's exclusive coverage of the Core State's Meridian Advantage 200 on TNN is brought to you by Haviland Formula 3 Motor Oil, Control Volatility and Bites Vaporization. By the more than 1,300 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. And by Purolator. To protect your engine, remember, Pure Oil now, Pure Oil later. Purolator. They're on the face lap here at Nazareth, Pennsylvania, Andrettyville, if you will. But home today to these full fender cars and the NASCAR Modifieds in a doubleheader. Look at that, 87 degrees. It never broke 60 yesterday, and we never saw the sun, not through practice, qualifying, or happy hour. And right now, full sun and what could be a slick or a tight racetrack. Nobody knows. Let's have a look at the starting grid for today's race. David Green, the point leader on the pole. Mike McLaughlin starting alongside. Row two, there's Randy LaJoy, second in the points, and Elliot Sadler. Row three, Todd Bodine, who won here in 92, and Jeff Green. Larry Pearson, two-time champion. Hermie Sadler, second at Hickory. Shane Hall had a good effort. He's ninth, and Curtis Markham, tenth in the points, is, or rather, third of the points is tenth. Jeff Fuller and Jason Keller start in row number six. Best start for Fuller in a while. Mark Green and Glenn Allen, the rookie leader, in row seven. Row eight is Randy Porter and Mike Stepanek, the highest qualified Bush North driver. Jim Bowne and Kevin LePage in row nine. Kelly Moore, the Bush North champ, and Tommy Houston, row 10. Chad Little and Dennis Setzer in row 11. Row 12, defending champion of this race, Tim Fedua, along with Jeff Purvis. Bill Parsons, fourth in the points, and Ron Thiel, Jr., from Long Island. Buckshot Jones makes his fourth start of the season. Doug Hevron, runner-up here last year. Dick Trickle flew up from Charlotte late last night. He's 29th. And Jamie Obie, the former Bush North champ. Rodney Combs and Mike Dillon, the rookie. Tom Bowles from Connecticut. And Ted Christopher with five modified championships under his belt. Bobby Donner and Mike Laughlin Jr. makes his second career start. Patty Moise and Mike Olson from Bush North. Dale Shaw, the 94 Bush North champion. Toshio Suzuki, the first Japanese Bush Series driver. And Jeff McClure and Joey McCarthy from New Jersey makes his Bush debut. They're the provisional starters. Drivers who did not make the show, Brian Donnelly, Bill Hoff, and Martin Truex crashed in practice and did not make a qualifying attempt. We'll be riding with Dick Trickle in the Duralu number 64, the Shoemaker Racing entry. There's a look out the windshield at this unique five-cornered racetrack. And out the right side in the roof cam. I'm Dick Trickle, who has not practiced. Tom Peck practiced to qualify that car. Rodney Combs in the Lance Snacks number 43 starts 31st today. As you see a view of the bridge and the far-off cement plant, Bill Parsons, the channel lock entry, rolls off 25th today. That's a Ron Thiel just ahead to the right. Randy Porter in the universe, Sammy Kershaw entry. Randy had a good effort, he'll start 15th. Here's today's AutoZone race analysis, brought to you by the more than 1,300 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, best parts in auto parts. 42 cars will start this race. Over 200 laps on this one-mile speedway. Chuck Bowne in 1991 set the race record. Coming around and looking for green. We're set to get the Bush Series back underway after a six-week, somewhat of a vacation for some teams. The green is waved, and David Green is quick off the start. Quickly, everybody dives for the bottom groove and tries to get single file before turn two. Good clean start. Under the bridge, through two. Out of turn three and onto the back straightaway. Long downhill back stretch. And into what we call turn four as Mark Green at 37 makes a pass on the inside. 
Turn five brings you around this long sweeper and back to the start finish line. Jeff Fuller trying to move up underneath the 51 of Mike Stepanek. Barry, a big guessing game this morning as far as what set up to under these cars. Practicing in cool, cloudy weather and racing in the sun and the heat. It has to be, Mike, and we were just talking about Dick Trickle. Mike, uh, he might have the best set up. He can't complain. He hadn't been here to practice the car. Some guys say the track's going to tighten up. Some guys say it's going to get loose. We've got to wait and see. Jeff Green in the good wrench number three. Works underneath Elliott Sadler, who has not been able to get down to the bottom of the racetrack in line. He'll slot in here. Younger brother's tail. He's not about to tap him. <laughs> no, he own, they own that car. <laughs> Kelly Moore, the Bush North champ. Down on what looks like a rumble strip there in turn number one. Actually, it's painted like a rumble strip. Part of the group through two and three. That is rumble strip on the yellow down there to the inside. Out of three to the back stretch. Riding with Randy Porter. Bouncing into turn four, and look at what a long sweeping turn this is before you come out of five and onto the front stretch. Turn one, there's that little bit of yellow paint, but not rippled pavement here in turn two at the bridge. Keeps the car down pretty tight. Way low coming out of turn number three there. there on Kevin LePage. Farmer's Choice Fertilizer to Brady A. Patty Moe, Mike Stepanek on the outside. Jason Keller underneath. Looking for a little racing room. There's Jeff Fuller. Rather, he was 47, but since Kelly Moore, the Bush North champ, has entered, Fuller had to give up his number. He runs 17 today, the same number that's on his brother Rick's modified later today. That battle between Keller, 57, and Stefanik, 51, continues. Boy, Jason just drove under him right under the bridge, and that's a tough place to pass. It's Todd Bodine, 81, the Cape Canaveral Cruise Line car. Under pressure. It is, Mike, and they're trying to show patience. They stress that in the driver's meeting. These guys have to go to Charlotte next week. Some of them are the same cars. Um, Got to show patience. It looks like the only place you can really make a move and make any momentum is off turn five up here. Bill Parsons tracking the number 40 Kleenex entry of defending race champ Tim Beadle. Different line entering two there. Beadle below. Parsons coming in, taking a later apex, if you will. To hug that ripple strip, and you saw Peter was target just a little loose there. No room on the bottom there. Buckshot Jones with double zero, and Doug Hebron plays again. Tommy's had a good car. They lost an engine uh, the qualifying second lap. He was much quicker than that. Might be a guy to watch today with a lot of experience. Jeff Purvis, David Lee Murphy, number four. 
Dives underneath. James Finch and the Purvis crew did a few laps yesterday afternoon practice, parked the car, hopped in the plane, went down to Charlotte for the Winston Select last night. And they knew it was going to turn from uh, 60 to 80. <laughs> <laughs> no sense wearing it out in practice when the weather's going to change. Jim Bound and the Barbasol ride just ahead of Parsons now, back straight away. Todd Bodine and Jeff Green, Hermie Sadler, Larry Pearson, Elliot Sadler, and Curtis Markham. We'll be right back. If it's Saturday night, it's steak night. That's just the way it's always been. And I always use my favorite steak sauce. It's tradition. What? Yeah, sometimes I'm in the mood for something different. Something rich, robust, something zesty, hearty. It's there, and it's great. Mm. A steak sauce for me? Are you serious? Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Mm. New A1 Thick and Hearty. Try it now at Subway on a steak and cheese sub. Pete Conrad, Apollo 12 astronaut, just broke the world speed record for a round-the-world flight. Pete, what's your secret? To break records, you need performance and reliability. That's why Duralube's in every one of my engines. Pete knows that Duralube engine treatment reduces friction in your car engine, increasing fuel mileage, reducing engine wear, and increasing your engine's life. Duralube, it's not just an engine treatment. It's tomorrow's technology, today. Enter the performance zone with Split Fire Performance B smart plugs. If you get your passing gear, you're gone. The difference in gas miles has been fantastic. Split Fire Performance B smart plugs mean better performance, more horsepower, and better mileage. So say the experts and the people who use them. They're the best plugs I ever put in my car. Enter the performance zone only with Split Fire Performance Bs, guaranteed. Leave it to Peerless Faucet to create a shower so smart, it can not only sense when a toilet has been flushed, it can also adjust the water temperature accordingly. Scald Guard technology by Peerless. Get more out of your faucet than just water. Hurry into Pep Boys, where right now you can get any four all-season 35,000-mile tires for just $109. Any size, any four 35,000-mile tires in stock, $109. Pep Boys, everything but gas. When you win the poll here in Nazareth, along with the Bush Poll Award, you get a brand new Martin guitar. Robert Hook made the presentation to David Green. On behalf of Martin Guitar, Chris Martin, our chairman, and our 500 co-workers, I'm proud to present this handcrafted Martin acoustic guitar to David Green. It's been hand-signed by all the drivers today, including David, right up here near the top. So, congratulations, David, and good luck in the race tomorrow. Is that Thunder Road? Yeah. Rory Calhoun. That was Robert Mitchum. Uh-oh. I'll be darned. Elliot Sadler has brought out the first caution of the day. Slapped the wall coming out of turn number three. A very tight corner. And second time in. There it goes. Sadler has pitted. Steve is there. I can't see much of the right side of the car, but we know that's where the majority of the damage is. Crew is also pulling the fenders out from the left side. We can see him tearing apart the right side sheet metal. Can't tell yet if any of the suspension has been damaged. We'll follow up and get right back to you. Thanks, Steve. Looks like they're going to refit the right front tire, clear away sheet metal, and then have Ellie go out, run a couple laps under this caution, and see how the car feels. This is his fifth Bush Grand National start and his best qualifying effort ever. And it looks like they didn't get it all off. So we'll be back. Back in. First caution of the day, we have completed 18 laps. Let's take a break here from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Glad to have you with us today on the Nashville Network. Get a grip on it. Tools that built the USC. Get a grip on it. Bye. 
on in. When you need a grip on life's little challenges, get a grip on Channel Lock. Where does Napa keep over 200,000 different parts? Right up here. Now remember, your belt tension on this is critical. What kind of car is it? Well, I'll sell you all the struts you want, but I wouldn't recommend putting them in without the right tools. I'm sure we have it. Okay, is it a 77 or a 78? Because they changed the carburetor in 78. Actually, that's not a stupid question at all. I know what it used to be. You don't stay at Napa long handing out the wrong answers, and I'm not planning on going anywhere. We keep America running. Today's exclusive coverage of the Four States Meridian Advantage 200 on CNN is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. At Napa, we keep America running. He had one lap, will go back to racing. Tom Bowles made a pit stop under that caution as they work on Elliott Sadler's car. Also, Joey McCarthy. Out of Randolph, New Jersey, making his first start in the Bush Series. Made a stop, and it looks like it's going to take a little more than duct tape to get Honors Cube DeWalt power tools at work there. Trying to get him back into the race. 19 laps complete, one caution so far. The Aquafresh ride of Buckshot Jones comes back in for a quick stop, and he is going to miss the green flag as he rolls slowly down pit road. Trying to get up to speed before the field comes by. We are back under green at Nazareth, Pennsylvania. David Green, the pole sitter, hauling them around. Four drivers broke the track record in qualifying. Green, McLaughlin, LaJoy, and Elliott Sadler. Barry, they've had 15 laps to run here and see what the racetrack's going to be like under this hot, very sunny condition. They settled down into a one-group running order pretty much, but what do you see from the way these cars are working? Well, it seems like the good cars uh, are still good. Some of them have their hand full. Hermie's done a good job at moving up. He's gotten by Jeff Green and uh, Larry Pearson sitting back there. I think it's too early to tell Goodyear's brought such a good tire and hadn't had enough time to give up yet if it's going to. With this weather, do you expect these cars to tighten up or loosen up? I'm hearing from the experienced drivers that they will tighten up. And uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense for the sun to be out and a car develop a push. Uh, what they're talking about is the whole car will slide because you don't have any bank in here. No, a very, very flat racetrack. Uh, Steve has an update on Sadler's car. Back to Steve in a moment. There's the joy. There's McLaughlin. Now, Steve Burns. Steve? Mike, Mike, I talked to Jeff Buckner, Elliot's crew chief, and he said that the towing has been knocked out. Also wanted to let you folks know at home, the crew chiefs here expect pit stops for gas in about 100 laps. That's as far as they can go. And they get two additional sets of tires to the one they're starting the race on. So it could, if the time's out right, be a one-stop race. It could be. I don't think gas is going to be a factor from checking around this morning. Reason being, with what we see is five turns here. Some drivers at six and seven. You're off the gas so much, it's not like you're running 100 miles on, you know, full throttle. I don't think gas is an issue. David Green on point, and you see Randy LaJoy right with him. Everyone this weekend has cautioned patience. You say patience to Randy LaJoy, he just kind of laughs. <laughs> he did. He was a great guy to ask about that. He's closing up on David Green right here. Gaining a couple feet every corner. Let's pull back to the battle for 10th place. just a little bit and back at the front now here's 10th place that's Jeff Fuller in the Sunoco 17 there's Fuller and quite a pack right behind him and trouble on Fuller's car he's dropped down to the inside and off the pace after posting his best qualifying effort at some time now the 99 of Glenn Allen Jr. drops to the inside, and Allen's going to move up and grab the 10th spot. Good move. Nice pass, and what people told us, Barry, is the place to pass. You're going right into one. Right. Fox Shane Hall, and then White on sponsor number 85 up to the top side of the racetrack. Now Tommy Houston, with a lot of folks here from Suburban Propane to watch Tommy run. 
their headquarters near here. Underneath Shane Hall, who drops in line. A lot of experience with Tommy. Like I said, he looked great yesterday and lost an engine qualified. Still had a good run, so we look for him to be up front. Tommy won the pole for this race in 1989, the second year of his run. Kevin Page just ahead of him in Farmer's Choice, number 88. Kevin making his second start with Riddling Motorsports. Finished 17th here last year. Page has come from 18th up to 11th. Let's go back up front. David Green still with Randy LaJoy in tow. And a little of a gap back to McLaughlin. And the number one of Hermie Sadler and Todd Bodine. Hermie has moved up pretty well. Up now in the fourth position after starting eight. Yeah, Hermie thinks he's got a good car. Looks like Fuller went uh, behind the wall. Cutting across in turn one and in the wall, Rodney Combs. Did he get the wall? Looked like he may have. Trouble on the land snacks, number 43. As you ride with Combs, kind of feeling it out there. See if he stays out or chooses to pit. Yeah. But the car went way up the racetrack and I couldn't tell if he slapped the wall or not. He missed a good chance, Mike. If yeah. he did. <laughs> You're right. Elliot Sadler's back on the road. might have gotten into the back of Combs. But there's Rodney. He's still out there. Right behind uh, Mike Olson in the little trees. Number 61. Turn four. Turn five. A big one. Two cars around. Mike Laughlin Jr. as the car stopped down to the inside. Joey McCarthy, number 11, in the rent wreck Yes, folks, it really says rent rack on McCarthy's car, and Rodney Combs was in it. So that'll bring out the caution for the second time. It's lap 34. The best passing place, drivers tell us here at Nazareth, is to drop under a driver there at turn five and get a run down the front straightaway. And that type of move may have led to this second incident of the day. They were double file. It's one of the places you can get there and try to make a pass to get your speed up for the front straightaway. The only really safe place to pass, and they just got in trouble. Pit road is open. And we'll take a break from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and be right back with you on a beautiful sunny Sunday with Bush Series Racing Live on TNN. To make this beauty look its best, I use Armor All Protectant on the vinyl and rubber. And for the paint, now there's Armor Plate Paint Protectant. It shines, protects, and really makes those colors pop. New Armor Plate. It's like Armor All for your paint. When asked, 9 out of 10 people say they'd rather be on vacation than at home. Come on. Do you have to practice? You have to practice. Mom, she's a tree professor. Do not throw the duck. Of course, most of the people they asked didn't own a John Deere because in survey after survey, 
folks are more satisfied with John Deere than other lawn tractors. Honey, it's green. It sure is. Ooh, nothing runs like a deer. Nothing makes a car look hotter than shiny wheels. So I use Quicksilver Wheel Cleaner from Armor Off. No scrubbing, just spray and rinse to get the brake dust and grime ordinary cleaners can leave behind. So every time you wash your car, use Quicksilver from Armor All. Is there any jealousy behind the scenes? Basically, in, in our sport, we're jealous of anybody that's out there winning. Catch last year's Winston Cup Series champion, Jeff Gordon, on Spotlight with Phyllis George, May 28th on TNN. Wouldn't it be nice if everything were guaranteed like cable service? Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's $20. I'm sorry your table wasn't ready. Your dinner will be free. It would be nice, but only your cable company offers you these guarantees. On-time service appointments or $20 refund. Guaranteed. And on-time installation or it's free. Guaranteed. Too bad everything isn't guaranteed like cable service. Sorry we're late, folks. This flight will be free. It was a summer they'll never forget. Pay-per-view takes you to meet four friends and the women they became. Christina Ricci and Rosie O'Donnell, Thora Birch and Melanie Griffith. Have you ever been French kissed? Are you kidding? Gabby Hoffman and Demi Moore. Ashley Aston Moore and Rita Wilson. Now and then, charming fun, easy to order on pay-per-view. Welcome back to Nazareth. Mike Joy with Barry Dodson and Steve Burns. As Rodney Combs makes a pit stop, so did Mike Laughlin Jr., Bobby Donner, and Buckshot Stone. Here's what happened. Turn five, this camera's located right near the start-finish line. Mike Laughlin Jr. goes around. And in the aftermath, Rodney Combs gets tangled up with yet a third car, Dale Shaw. Also stopped with damage. Joey McCarthy was that third automobile involved. We are back under green. And again, quickly, they try to settle down and take a Go back to the garage area, Steve. Mike with Jeff Muller, who is just flying from the Sunoco Chevy. Jeff, another tough break for you. You just can't seem to buy a break this year. What put you out today? Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, the Snorkel Chevrolet was running real good. I think we uh, had a motor problem. I didn't even have a chance to mess my hair up. Well, you look good anyway. We're sorry you're in the garage. Yeah, you know, it's it's a tough deal, but, uh, you know, Charlotte's next week. We went down there and tested, and I think we're getting the program back together. It's just unfortunate, but we'll be back. All right, best of luck. They did a lot of chassis work over the last uh, six weeks in the qualified 11. He's back in 24th in the points. Dale Shaw, former Bush North champ, with uh, damage to the front of that car in the Ocean Spray. Entry back on Pit Road. Riding with Dick Trickle. And for 64, Duralute Chevy. Front straightaway here. Dive down into turn number one. Running in 31st position. Turn two, the bridge. The warm up lane down to the inside there as he cuts across a little bit of grass there at turn three and into the back straightaway. Yeah, he looks a little loose off, you know. They already got him the last down. He just needs some time to work on it. Now, folks, loose off is crew chief talk. It means the car is getting loose coming off the corner. But a lot of those words don't matter. Loose off, that's all you need to say. It means the trunk's trying to pass the hood. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pulls down on Mike Dillon, rookie driver in the Detroit Gasket 72. And now moves up on Ron Thiel. One of six Bush North entries in this race. Even on the radio, the cars dance around a good bit here. They do dance around uh, without banking, and it's such a smooth surface. Uh, they're really not into the racetrack, and that's where air pressure comes in. As the race goes on, each crews are stopped. They'll start dropping the pan down. If it's better, they'll go another pan and try to get some grip. Great train racing. Trickle moves up on the outside of Ron Field. Remember, Trickle had no practice time. 13, the Less Care Kitchens car, Teddy Christopher. Out of Connecticut. Driving for Ted Marsh. Brother of the Bush North regulars. And he's got a string of modified championships up north. And now this is Kelly Moore just ahead. 
Joy in second, Mike McLaughlin third. In fourth is Hermie Sadler and fifth, Todd Bodine. No change in the front five as we go to break. We'll be right back. Great big gobs of greasy, slimy garbage scum, kinky, sticky, pine tree gum, barbecue, fishy crumbs. Can't remember when I've had such good clean fun, the Coleman clean machine. Oh boy, here comes doggy do as thick as fudge. Clumps of butt and axle sludge, stuff that used to never budge. Now I think I'll suck it to a hornet's nest. The Coleman Power Made Clean Machine. The first name in pressure washers. The new Kawasaki Vulcan 1500 Classic, with the biggest V-twin ever to hit the asphalt, you've never felt anything like it. It's an engine protection breakthrough. New Lubricator 2001 Super Engine Treatment. In independent lab tests, Lubricator 2001 prevented engine metal wear 30% better than Slick 50 and two times better than Duralube. Lubricator 2001 contains a revolutionary synthetic friction modifier, XL17, which bonds to critical engine parts to reduce metal wear like no petroleum product. Get the one that beats Slick 50 and Duralube. Lubricator 2001 Super Engine Treatment. If you're trying to keep cool with Simple Air over 10 years old, you must have money to blow. Thought so? Yeah. A new Lux Air high-performance Central Air or heat pump system could reduce your energy cost and save you money. Ooh, by Lux Air. Dependable, affordable comfort comes from Lux Air. Can we come Mom. outside where it's cool? Mom. Call your Lux Air dealer and catch the NASCAR 99 Lux Air Chevy in all the Bush Grand National Series races. It's a big weekend of live motorsports here on TNN, right after our telecast. Trans Am style racing, the Sunoco Ultra 94 Classic from Ontario, Canada. Ron Fellows, Dorsey Schrader, the rest of the Trans Am Warriors on the road course. Next, here at Nazareth, Pennsylvania, caution is out for debris on the racetrack at turn number two. The safety crew was out picking it up. Gave a couple of drivers the opportunity to make pit stops and we're ready to go back to green. We talked at the top of the show about David Green's team se uh, green season. He has started on the pole and led every lap here. Randy LaJoy, is he biding his time? What do you think, Randy? Uh, Randy's got his hands full. You know, David looks good. Randy looks good. A lot of cars. Hermie, Tommy Houston's moving up. Green flag. Here we go. Back under green. At lap 46. Moving underneath the lap number 50 of Jeff LaFleur. And that'll create some distance. McLaughlin a little longer time to get by than the first two cars. Hermie Sadler, Todd Bodine, moving up on the last car, but for now it's a two-car breakaway. Bodine in the 81, and Jeff Green in the number three had a tough yeah. place to pass the down there. made it tight. Yep. Going into turn four. Oh, turn Trouble. five. One car hard in the wall. And about four more some damage as a result. The triple hand in the air to get through there safely. For everybody to check up. Everybody made it away but one. That's Ted Christopher. 
Former Stafford Modified Champ out of Plainville, Connecticut in the Less Care Kitchen Chevrolet was the car that got turned up and into the wall at turn five. There's Ted, one of twin brothers to compete in the Modifieds and Ted on the Bush Series as well. There's Kelly Morris, number 47. Somebody didn't check up in time. No. Some, they got spotters too right above them up there and it, it's good if something happened somewhere else, but right below them, you know, it could, it could cause a lot of calamity. Well, it's hard to have a one-car accident here. You see, when one car gets sideways, that track gets very narrow in a big hurry. Tough break for Ted Christopher. We'll be right back to Nazareth, Pennsylvania, where David Green has led every one of the 49 laps so far. Enter the Performance Zone with Split Fire Performance B spark plug. You hit your passing gear, you're gone. Experts say split fire performance V spark plugs mean more horsepower and better mileage. The difference in gas mileage has been fantastic. Enter the performance zone only with split fire performance V's guaranteed. And for more power at any RPM, get split fire performance V's twin core wires. A car engine has as little as a thousandth of an inch of motor oil protecting its parts. But friction and heat can make motor oil become volatile and vaporize, weakening its ability to protect vital parts. Texaco Haviland Formula 3 is formulated to control volatility, fight vaporization, and provide complete engine protection, no matter what you drive. Add more life to your car. Take it to the star. I didn't see it. I wouldn't believe it. If I wasn't here, I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. These people just witnessed an amazing demonstration. We put this Duraloop-treated engine through the ultimate torture test. We drained all the oil, all the water, then flooded it with a fire hose. It kept on running because Duraloop protects your engine like no other product can. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it myself. Now, let Duraloop make a believer out of you. Duraloop, peace of mind in a bottle. Protect your engine. Remember, pure oil now, pure oil later. Pure oil later. Goodyear revolutionized wet traction design with AquaTread. Now, Goodyear introduces InfiniTread, the first tire with a lifetime tread life warranty. The new all-season InfiniTread. Its tread is guaranteed for as long as you own your car. Call 1-800-GOODYEAR. Announcing Goodyear's Race Days Tire Sale. Save up to 25% on all Goodyear Eagles and all Goodyear Wranglers. Other Goodyear tires from 1999. Get to Goodyear and save. And ask about InfiniTread with a lifetime Tread Life limited warranty. Welcome back to Nazareth. Brand new, not available in any store until Tuesday. Getting out the good stuff. David Lee Murphy's brand new CD on the heels of... A CD that produced a couple of hits and a number one record and got you out here to sing the national anthem today. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, we're really happy to be here. This is our, our first time with the uh, album cover of Getting Out the Good Stuff on the Hood of Jeff's Car. And uh, we, we're just really excited to be here. We got a great crew and a great team. And Jeff Purvis, is, he's been doing a great job for us all year. We're happy to be in Nazareth. Well, last night, a great show in Philadelphia. David Lee Murphy along with Tracy Bird and Brooks and Dunn. And when you did Dust on the Bottle, the place just went up. Folks just love that song. <laughs> well, we we sure appreciate everybody coming out and getting into the songs with us. It's it's a lot of fun. You know, we do party crowd and dust on the bottom. Everybody gets right in there and sings along with us, and uh, we have a lot of fun. Well, neat deal, and good to have you here and involved with Jeff and the team. They went to see the Winston Select last night. Come back up here, and uh, what kind of pre-race encouragement did you have for us? I just, uh, you know, Jeff's a great driver. He doesn't need very much help. I just uh, keep my fingers crossed for him, and uh, I know he's going to do a great job. Are we going to see you in one of these Legends cars? Have you got the itch to get, him, get behind the wheel? Yeah, I do. I, I tell you what, I'm like a kid, too. You know, I get in those things, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I drove in uh, the first celebrity race Mark Colley had down there two years ago, and we're going to do it again this October, I believe, and uh, looking forward to it. That was great fun. I can't wait to go back. Maybe Barry will come down and uh, crew chief for us down there. Yeah, we'll try to, and I'll tell you what, uh, 
there's more to tune on these things than six strings. How do you like it? Yeah, it's a little bit more dangerous on these than, uh, than being a guitar picker. Uh, I got a lot of respect for these drivers and these teams out here because they put a lot of work into this stuff, and uh, I'm just really happy to be able to be a part of it. Well, the only thing more fun than working for TN and helping these guys is listening to you guys on TN. Well, come on in and visit with us a bit. We're going to go down to the pits and Steve Burns. Mike, we just uh, you just talked about how David Green is experiencing a dream season. He has led every lap of this race. In his pits consulting is Kurt Shelmerdine. You may remember him as Dale Earnhardt's former crew chief, led Dale to many championships. Well, Kurt was in Charlotte last night as well. He ran in the ARCA race, finishing fourth. Also want to update you on the 99 car. Glenn Allen Jr. is reporting heat from the floorboard. Glenn Allen Jr., a rookie who is sixth in the point standings, is experiencing some problems. The leaders, again, still have not fitted. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Barry, as we expect, it'll probably be up near 100 laps before we see them on pit road, depending on how the cautions fall. Yeah, they don't want to use those tires as long as they've got uh, gas mileage left. Of the top 19 starters in this race, 13 of them had never won on the Bush Grand National Circuit, so interesting crowd here today. One to go. David Green, Randy LaJoy, Mike McLaughlin in third. Fourth, Hermie Sadler. Fifth, Todd Bodine. Sixth, Jeff Green. That has not changed. Seventh now is Larry Pearson. Eighth, Jason Keller. Ninth is Glenn Allen. And showing up now in the 10th spot, Kevin LePage. Then it's Tommy Houston. Rodney Cole. 
his hands full of that car right now. Those are the ninth and tenth place cars going by. Allen had to lift just a little. Here comes 88 down on the bottom trying to make the pass. Kevin LePage. On a little better up. Right idea, maybe not the right place or right time. athlete's foot can stop you in your tracks. You get that itching, the cracking, the burning. That's when you want a medicine and back stuff. Boom! Tough acting tenactin. It cures even tough cases of athlete's foot. Get tough acting tenactin. I always use my favorite steak sauce. It's tradition. Every once in a while, I'm in the mood for something different. Something thick. Robust and hearty. <laughs> yeah, all right. New A1 Thick and Hearty. In South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts, and they find helpful people, like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems, and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Today's exclusive coverage of the Core State's Meridian Advantage 200 on TNN is brought to you by the more than 1,300 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, the best part in auto parts. 69 laps complete. Shane Hall, the uh, former All-Pro Series driver out of South Carolina, just had a big moment at turn number five. As Buddy Baker would say, he started the wreck, he just didn't finish it. Everybody got through okay. Let's have a look at it. The white car number 85. Around, grab a gear, and go. Chad Little checking up. Right side of your screen. Oh, very fortunate. 
that Dennis Setzer did not collect him. That was the red car that came through. So a couple of incidents that have not prompted the caution here, even though we've had three. 70 laps complete. Okay, Randy jumped a little sideways that lap off turn five. Pulling up on the uh, Japanese driver, number nine, the Joe Bessie car, Toshio Suzuki, put him a lap down. This battle is for sixth place. Larry Pearson, the Stanley Tool Chevy, Jason Keller, and Glenn Allen, the rookie. Glenn Allen has been a great run so far. in only his second drive for this race team. The 88 car holding ninth position and closing on this group. Keller took a peek inside Pearson on the front straightaway that time. See if lap traffic will play a role here. And this group of cars running just a short straightaway behind the leader. Lap car moves to the inside. Number 11, down to the bottom of Joey McCarthy. I suppose if you're if you were a company called Renarec and you came and sponsored a stock car, everybody would have to remember that. But with the car of crew chief, that car saying Ren Renarec, I mean, no, yeah, it's it's good marketing, but I guess bad yeah. superstition. How's that? And it's already documented too. Yeah, right. <laughs> but good luck to them. Working their way around Kelly Moore, and this group of cars is eight seconds behind the leader. I can think of a couple of drivers they could sponsor where it would just be a national tie-in. It would be. Sixth through ninth place right here. Here's some Keller, Allen, and LePay. You folks come back here next month with the Craftsman Truck Series. Yes, we do. And uh, this was your first look at Nazareth Speedway. I tell you what, it paid great dividends watching it on television. You get, you get a great view, but once you get here and see the place and ride around it, it's been a tremendous help to come up and help you guys. Keller may have a run here coming out of turn three. He came off the corner a little lower. Larry's carrying a lot of power. Down that back straightaway. Let's see if out of turn five, Jason will drop it underneath. Boy, he wants to. Yeah, this could get good. Looks like Keller is quicker through the middle of the corner. Pearson gets a better run down the straightaway. Well, Larry a little wide there. Jason may have the room he needs. Keller has the room. Yeah, he gave it to him the spot. Glenn Allen and Kevin LePage are going to capitalize. That's experience too from Larry. He knows this is a tough place, a tough place to finish, and they need to do that. Glenn Allen's wanting to go. Yeah, I am impressed with him. And there he goes. Sixth in the point stand. Bill Papke had a big smile on his face this morning. Here's his driver, rookie season. Sixth in the points already. A lot of experience there with the, with the character, though. David Ift. David Ift is a character? Is that what you said? He is a oh, character. Oh, gosh. Long time for chief. Man about town. able to lead this group for very long and look at Tommy Houston right up there. Look at the veteran just hanging right in, saving his tires. And this time it's Keller's turn to let him go at turn one. Drifts to the back of that pack. I talked to Ryan Pemberton. Uh, if he had a fear at all about the hot weather, he thought they would get loose. Maybe that's what's happening. Pearson just waved Tommy Houston to the inside. Wave goodbye. He's going away. You know, we're like 20 laps from uh, halfway. Keller's car 
made that pass on Pearson and then just suddenly advanced to the rear. Randy LaJoy putting Ron Thiel a lap down and pulling up on Mike Dillon. As we have 80 laps complete here at Nazareth, Pennsylvania, you're watching Bush Racing Live on TNN. Hey, Bill. Why are your students adding Rizlon to their oil? Because Rizlon's the original engine treatment. It removes harmful engine deposits. See, for new cars, Rizlon prevents harmful sludge buildup. It maintains powerful performance longer. In older cars, it penetrates restricted oil passages, cleans vital parts, quiets noisy valves and lifters. Sounds good. I'll use Rizlon with my next oil change. One of these hammers is jacketed in high-impact polycarbonate. The other one is broken. The fiberglass jacketed hammer from Stanley. Hey, you're a guy, and guys want to stay cool. How do you do it? With new Speed Stick Gel, proven to keep you drier than any other gel. It's the best gel protection. New Speed Stick Gel, just for the guys. Is there any jealousy behind the scenes? Basically, in, in our sport, we're jealous of anybody that's out there winning. Catch last year's Winston Cup Series champion, Jeff Gordon, on Spotlight with Phyllis George, May 28th, on TNN. Wouldn't it be nice if everything were guaranteed like cable service? Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's $20. I'm sorry your table wasn't ready. Your dinner will be free. It would be nice, but only your cable company offers you these guarantees. On-time service appointments or $20 refund. Guaranteed. And on-time installation or it's free. Guaranteed. Too bad everything isn't guaranteed like cable service. Sorry we're late, folks. This flight will be free. Located at the Red Barn, proudly offers AT&T wireless services. You'll receive one-on-one -on -one service to help you make an informed decision on which AT&T wireless service is right for you. Bradenton Communications has cellular phones for 99 cents and digital cellular service starting at only $19.95 a month. We're open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., so call 746-5303 to find out more about the nation's number one cellular service. Bradenton Communications, an authorized dealer for AT&T wireless services. Stay with us on TNN Motorsports today after the Sunoco Ultra 94 Trans Am. Stay tuned for the NHRA Mopar Nationals. They're in Englishtown, New Jersey at 5 o'clock Eastern Time. Lots of motorsports coming your way live on TNN, the Nashville Network today. Tommy Houston running right out in front of the Joe Bessie car, Toshio Suzuki from Saitama, Japan. Behind the wheel, the first Japanese Bush Grand National driver in NASCAR, Kenji Momoda. Ran in the uh, Craftsman Truck Series last year, but the first Japanese driver in the top level of NASCAR racing back in the early 1950s. George Tet was his name. He was out of Ozone Park, New York. Uh, his real name was Tetsuo Fujigami. He was a modified star in the Northeast and drove an occasional Grand National. Now that was a fact nobody knew. Rickfield <laughs> And I'd heard of George Tet from the modified folks up north. Never saw him run, but. Saw his name at the top of the list and a lot of race results. Dennis Setzer has been, uh, well, the T has been brewing. Here he comes from 22nd to 11th in the Brad Aiken Bob Sutton car. There's a look at Setzer. He said they worked hard in those last six weeks to try to get, get things going in the right track again. They missed the show at Atlanta, Bristol, and at Hickory, where he'd won two years before. He's running well today. Randy LaJoy, your race leader. David Green, keeping close tabs on him. There's Green. Mike McLaughlin, Hermie Sadler, Todd Bodine. Snarling pack of traffic now. The leader coming up on Mark Green. The middle brother. David's the oldest, Jeff is the youngest. way as the leaders come by. Working in that outside groove and the burn of number 51. Missed to that pack. Shane Hall, 
five just ahead of the leader. And up on the outside, Markham, Markham qualified well and practiced really well today, but he's about to throw a lap down. Uh, he's, he's got problems. I think he's already used one and a half sets of tires, and that's not good. Not at this juncture, 91. for David Green. And now the leader about to put a lap on the Lysol Pontiac of Markham. What a great season Curtis has had. Third in the points. Just 223 back of David Green. They were quick in practice. Yeah, they were. Tommy Houston, car starting to wiggle out from under him just a bit. Let's check in his pit, Steve. Guys, you mentioned about Tommy Houston earlier. He started 20th. He's worked his way up to ninth. You see Mike McLaughlin's having problems. We'll follow up on that. I know Barry Dodson can elaborate on Tommy Houston. Tommy's son, Scott, has rejoined the team as a crew chief after spending time with Darrell Walter. Barry knows this team has really prepared for this race, and it's showing. Yeah, I talked to Scott this morning, and uh, it's helped to get back together. And the biggest thing is now with Suburban Propane and this being home to him, Tommy told me, in fact, they had the dollars to do the research to buy the things to uh, to get competitive again, and it's showing. Mike McLaughlin cut down on the right front tire. Steve Helwig comes around with the jack. Clyde McLeod and team get set to change that right front. Trouble turn one, one car sliding on its roof toward turn two. That is Shane Hall. Laughlin Jr.'s in it. His car seems to be okay. Former All-Pro driver from Simpsonville, South Carolina, that was such a star of TNN Winter Heat two years ago. Got turned around in turn number one and went on his lid. Shane is okay. couple of runs with Dick Brooks's Winston Cup team. That's uh, the uniform he's wearing. Trying to hook up and make it here in Bush Grand National Racing. And what a wild ride that was. What a wild ride. We got to bring the trucks here. I'll tell you, he is an enthusiastic young fella. He's got a lot of raw talent. And uh, he is a comer, but he has got the crowd on his feet today for the wrong reason. is okay. Climbed out of the car. Now you see him walking across the racetrack and looking back up track to see what happened. Yeah. Great young talent there. Had, he's had he's a got a future. Yep. Yep. Great future. Richard Lassiter, former Bush Series driver, is the new crew chief on that entry this year. And it's a, sadly a short day for Shane Hall. So we're under caution here at Nazareth. We'll be right back. It came from the hills and back roads, a sound of generations that found its way to this humble stage and to the ends of the earth. That stage has grown to become Opryland USA, where fans come to the cradle for the vacation of a lifetime. Call now for passport package information and a free vacation planning guide. 1-800-882-3914. Opryland USA, America's country vacation destination. Welcome, Dave. It's been a long time. It sure has, Red. You got a spicy chicken sandwich. But here, try this. Not bad. Water? No, thanks. Ooh. Now try a Wendy's spicy chicken. Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich is a whole breast fillet seasoned with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices. It's one very delicious, very spicy sandwich. Please. <laughs> try Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich and long live the king. Need a few parts? 
Pep Boys has everything you need. Have a nice weekend. 26,000 items at the guaranteed low price, tires and service too. Pep Boys, everything but gas. Cleanup continues here at Nazareth uh, to flip Chain Hall's car over. They first must get it out from under the bridge. Here, hook on to it. Flip it back over and then load it either into, well, load it into the hauler. So I think that's all that car is going today. He will not be at Charlotte with that car. Nope. Sad to say. Time for our Pep Boys driver profile. Pep Boys for quality parts, tires, and service. Leading rookie on the tour, Glenn Allen Jr., son of a well-known racer in the Midwest. I asked him uh, how he got his start in stock car racing. Well, my father raced at Queen City Speedway, a half mile in Cincinnati, for probably 15 so years and was track champion here quite a bit. And, uh, they, him and my uncle decided to buy me a mini stock, which was a four-cylinder Vega at that time at age 13, and started racing from there and kind of snowballed in effect. When I turned about 17, I started running the ASA series full-time and uh, ran there for the last six years full-time and got a lot of experience and just got the right call. The last season probably was our best. We were runner-up points, second to points, won a race at the Milwaukee Mile, had a very consistent, a lot of probably 10 top five finishes. We had an awful good race team. We just came up short on winning the championship and uh, got a call from Bill Papke and, you know, with Bill Papke and the J&J &J racing team and with Luxair all together, it was just a great opportunity for me to do it and had to jump on it. Allen says he's here to learn, but his rookie status is not reflected in the points. He's sixth overall, making it look like the transition to bush racing was an easy one. Well, I don't know about how easy, but uh, we determined to come in to make all the laps we possibly could this year, finish all the races, learn the first half of the year for the second time we go back to all these racetracks, we'll be better and more competitive. And, and for us in Daytona, we've run every lap but seven at all these racetracks. We, we've lost seven laps during the whole period of time. So I think, you know, our hat's off to our J&J race team in Luxair. One of the surprises of this season, and a pleasant one, Glenn Allen Jr., leading rookie and sixth in the point standings. So that team led by David Ift. Cleanup continues. There's a look at Jeff Purvis, toting around the new colors of getting out the good stuff. A little, little bit of a ding there in the front of that hood. Just about chin level. I have to go get that can of spray paint I got It's not a ding, it's a that. dimple, okay? <laughs> a little one on the right rear corner, too. The, uh, I understand you had an offer from uh, James Finch, the car owner, to put you to work down there today. I'm hiding from him right now. <laughs> yeah, they, they put me to work at Talladega and Daytona, and uh, I know if I get over there, they'll have me doing something. They had me holding tires, and, and uh, I got to hang out the, the pit arrow. We've got a little pit arrow to show mm -hmm. Jeff when he comes around into the pit where to, so he'll know where to pull in. And they had me holding that. It, it's just, it, it really is a lot of fun. That's well, fair. I'll be down there in a minute anyway. I like to, I like to go down there. But the guys in the crew are really, they're just good friends too. You know, we have yep. a real good time hanging out, and uh, I'm sure they'll put me to work before the day's over with. Can Jeff sing? I, I don't know if he can sing or not. I wouldn't be surprised if he couldn't. <laughs> well, I'll belt out a good old honky tonk song every now and then. But I'll take him on tour and put him to work. I might do that. You know, some of those crew guys, they, they make good roadies. I mean, lift, carry, yeah, well, nut, well, bolt. They were going to come to the show last night at Philadelphia with Brooks and Dunn, and, and they got busy at, here at the track and couldn't make it over. So hopefully we'll see him down the road somewhere. We'll see if Jeff can sing. Maybe he'll sing Party Crowd with us or something. Well, I know he can party. Well, they all can. You that's know, right. I've, that's I've that's why we work so well together. <laughs> yeah. I, I have heard Jeff sing, and uh, I told him, I said, you know, you you're, you should be on stage, the next one out of town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you, Mike. Singing the national anthem for the folks. And we appreciate last it. Last night was a great show. I know you and Brooks and Dunn are going to have a, a great summer season. We'll see you on tour. Well, thanks for having us. The, uh, the new single is Every Time I Get Around You, and it's on Getting Out the Good Stuff on MCA CDs and tapes, and you can buy it Tuesday. Here's a little listen to it as we go to break. I can feel 
boats, we start turning round And we just walk into the room in South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts, and they find helpful people, like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems, and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Bug Be Gone from Ortho, the only ready-to-use diazinon bug killer that kills virtually any bug anywhere. Hey, is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's my new Wagner Power Painter. Well, can you edge with it? Yeah, you can edge like this, or adjust it to control the paint up close. And when I'm done, I'm gonna switch nozzles and stain my deck. Do a lot of other jobs I've been meaning to do. Well, does it clean up easy? Yeah, it's quicker than you think. Why am I painting this by hand? Good question. Get a Wagner. When asked, nine out of ten people say they'd rather be on vacation than at home. Come on. I'm bored. Do you have to play? I have to practice. Mom, she's a trick on the Do not throw the duck. Of course, most of the people they asked didn't own a John Deere. Because in survey after survey, folks are more satisfied with John Deere than other lawn tractors. Honey, it's green. It sure is. Anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Legends. Prestige. 30 years of intense rivalry. Ford's Mustang. Chevy's Camaro. This one's for pride. TNN Motorsports presents the SCCA Trans Am Series. From Bowmanville, Ontario, it's the SCCA Trans Am Series Motorsport Grand Prix. Today at 3.30, 2.30 Central on TNN Motorsports. 102 laps on the board at Nazareth, just past halfway. So our Stanley Tools mid-race report brought to you by Stanley since 1843. Stanley's been helping people do things right. Pole sitter David Green and Randy LaJoy are the only drivers to lead this race. The average speed at the midpoint slowed down by Shane Hall's collision. 93.8 miles an hour, five cautions for 22 laps, and they are still cleaning up from Mr. Toad's wild ride down there at turn two. Oh, somebody has been to see Pat Sanders at the souvenir trailer, I see. And uh, Barry, I think you're right. I doubt that car will be at Charlotte. It will not be at Charlotte. And uh, fuel, fuel's becoming more out of the question now because the pace car is taking them around the, the warm-up lap. You know, during these caution laps, the caution laps are going to help. And, I tell you what, Goodyear's brought an excellent, excellent tire. I hope it's the same one we get. For the truck race at the uh, end of next month. Let's go down and recap those midpoint pit stops. Here's Steve. Well, guys, all the leaders came in, and everyone without exception changed four tires. Now, I need help from Barry Dodson. Barry, you got to help me figure this out. I went to uh, Randy LaJoy's crew chief, Steve Bird, affectionately known as Birdie. I said, did you guys make a chassis adjustment? And he said, eh. Nah, just air pressure. And I said, well, did you take it out? Did you add it? And he goes, yeah, we took some out, and we put some in. So <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to weed through all this. You know, he can be cryptic and uh, play it close to the vest. He said he added air pressure to the right side and took it out of the left side. Finally, he said, yeah, we were pushing. Yeah. Uh, the air pressure works like a spring. It's, it's, it's the best tuning tool you have right now with a radial tire. And, Birdie's from New Hampshire, and, you know, those Yankees, they don't give up confidence as easily, Steve, but keep after him. Last year, this race was a wild one. Show you some of the highlights. Down there, three into turn four won't go, no matter how much dirt track experience you have. And when one car gets sideways and everybody checks up, half of them go around and half of them pile in, it seems. Tough spot there, turn three. 
Dave Dion in the 29 got around. Robbie Crouch and the rest of the cars with no place to go. Now, an in-car view of that same incident. Uh-oh, a lot of smoke ahead. Where do I go? Infield. No, grandstand. Infield. Grandstand. Infield. <laughs> Made it. That was Elton Sawyer. It's a very narrow racetrack when one car gets across it. It is. 104 laps complete. After pit stops, David Green leads. Randy LaJoy, Hermie Sadler, Jeff Green, and now Chad Little on a quick pit stop has come up to fifth place. Let's have a look at today's Innovation in Motion feature brought to you by Peerless Faucets. Get more out of your faucet than just water. Here's Barry. We're in Hermie Sadler's DeWalt Chevrolet. He's got an added tool, but it didn't come from DeWalt, it came from Laughlin. If you've got a Laughlin car, or even a truck, here's what it is. There's a slug right behind that nut and bolt. It changes the anti-dive or caster gain or how this truck enters a corner, rolls through the middle of the corner, and exits a corner. It's a simple slug. It's just a difference in the location of the holes. You see his crew chief, John's got him right here. You see the difference? You knock one out, put the other one in, it can change the characteristic of the car dramatically. A little extra tuning tool. Not from DeWalt, but it sure works. <laughs> it sure does. Hermie got out third, picked up a spot in the pits. Yeah, you got uh, McLaughlin up here now. He might have the capability of getting that lap back. Chad Little came all the way up to fifth place on those pit stops. I wonder if he might have taken on two tires. He should not have. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> 95 laps to go as the green flag waves. them around the one mile here at Hanford. Bill double wide from over this pack. Mike McLaughlin having a look on the outside. That didn't work. And McLaughlin is now two laps down. Remember he cut down a right front tire while running in third position.
driver change on Ron Thiel's car. Thiel and Kenner down in Pennsylvania two weeks ago. First time the Bush Morton cars had run uh, mufflers there. Thiel burned both the heels on both feet pretty badly. So he has climbed out of the car, and Elliot Sadler is in the luxury the uh, 11th grade 7 in relief of Ron Thiel. changes over the winter going from the Ford sheet metal to the to the Pontiac and we just have to um, figure out what the Pontiac needs. It's a good race car. It just doesn't need the same type of a setup as the Ford needed and you know all of our notes and records apply to that. So we have to adapt those to the new body style and, and also there seems to be a an issue with the amount of front down force that the Pontiac has compared to the rear. You know it seems like it does have a lot on the rear, maybe too much on the rear. Let me rephrase that. Not too much on the rear, but not enough on the front. And that way, for that reason, when you open the front up for the race, the car wants to offer a push. So we've had to do things to really free the car up a lot more than we ever anticipated. So we're kind of in a learning cycle right now. So if you folks think these cars all look the same, let me assure you, trouble in turn one. 
Hermie Sadler was trying to get around the outside of Dale Shaw. Suzuki is in it as well as the rest of the field fights their way through. Sadler was trying to pass Dale Shaw. Sadler was on the outside. And there just wasn't enough room going into that corner for both cars. Tough break. Hermie's been sitting there running in third. There is Suzuki, the Japanese driver in Joe Bessie's car. And it's the sixth caution of the day. And a tough break for Sadler. He and John Munson had that car up into third place. Now, the front end damage on Sean's machine, much as that is from the accident early on that he was involved in. Dale's a former Bush North champion and had the Ocean Spray car running pretty well here. Let's take a break here from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and we'll come back, have a look at replays with you. David Green continues to lead Randy LaJoy and Jeff Green. Too much iron in your water? Better call RainSoft. In the Stanley Laboratories, we find out just how good our decorative mirror doors are by opening and closing them over 100,000 times. Funny, isn't that the same way you do it? Decorative mirror doors from Stanley. For cars that can benefit from higher octane... Frank, we're late. Texaco Clean System 3 Power Plus and Power Premium are formulated to clean your engine's intake valves, fuel injectors, and combustion chambers while you're driving. For smooth starts and sure acceleration, just give us five tanks, and we think you'll see a difference. A word of advice, though. Maybe you'd better leave the windows rolled up. You want to know who starts where, who finished where, and what the point standings are, your 24-hour NASCAR garage pass is NASCAR Online on the World Wide Web at NASCAR.com. Before, during, after the race, check it out. Hermie Sadler on pit road. Phil Parsons also making a stop. Mike Stefanik, Curtis Markham, Suzuki, and Dennis Setzer. Mike McLaughlin in as well. There's Hermes car in the pits. Broken pannard rod, Barry? Yes, it, uh, I looked at it going down pit road. It looked like the track bar pannard rod is broken. I would say uh, they cannot fix that car with the, with the laps they got left only 75. He's got to be dejected. Let's show you what happened. Entering turn one. White car on the inside. There's Sadler on the outside. Hard to tell from that angle if one came up or the other came down. Yeah. And Toshio Suzuki and the nine caught up in the middle of it. And just aftermath there. Suzuki spun his car to miss the two of them. Let's go to Steve. Yeah, and a dejected Hermie Sadler is here. Hermie, uh, Hermie, what happened? Just coming up on a lap car and didn't get any room. The guy waved me to the outside and... They talked about the driver's meeting. It's tight through that corner, give and take, especially when you got a car going for second and a car just lap down. This can never get the respect they give other people. I don't know why. It's up break. Hermie came in today 17th in points, and this will drop him further down. Sadler running very, very well in that DeWalt Chevy. In a solid third place at the time of the incident. 74 laps to go. We'll be right back to Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Get out of rough, tall grass and weeds like this. You don't need one of these. You need one of these. The Weed Terminator. The Weed Terminator replacement head with serrated edge blades cuts through tall weeds and grass with ease. The Weed Terminator replacement head installs quickly and easily and changing replacement blades is a snap. After all, there's a lot better things to be doing with your time. Available at finer home improvement centers and retailers worldwide. You can't stop the rain but you can help stop water spots with new Vision Auto Polish from Turtle Wax. Watch, thousands of gallons of water flood this car's finish. But new water repellent chemistry from Turtle Wax with 3M technology lets Vision sheet water right off before it can spot, leaving nothing but a long-lasting, brilliant shine. Help stop water spots before they start with new Vision Auto Polish from Turtle Wax. 
Is there any jealousy behind the scenes? Basically, in, in our sport, we're jealous of anybody that's out there winning. Catch last year's Winston Cup Series champion, Jeff Gordon, on Spotlight with Phyllis George, May 28th on TNN. It's the brand new blowout at Montgomery Ward. Hurry into Electric Avenue and get free $50 savings bonds when you buy select TVs and camcorders, including this 20-inch stereo TV for just $198. Get this Admiral 18.6 cubic foot refrigerator for just $549. Or get the 21 cubic foot for $599. And both come with free ice makers. There's free delivery with select laundry pairs. And ask for zero interest on all premium mattress sets, like this opulent jewel queen set by Simmons for just $599. That's the brand name blowout only at Montgomery Ward. There's all kinds of reasons to eat at 89th Street Grill, but one reason in particular seems to pop up as everybody's favorite. The price is wonderful. Good price. The cost is right. Oh, I like the price. I think it's cheap for all you can eat, really. At the end of June, you're planning to come to Nashville for the TNN Salute to Motorsports at Opryland. For information, call 615-889-6611 weekdays. We're under caution again. A lap after the restart, Jim Bound has given the wall a more than close shave at turn number three. As he climbs out of the Barbasol Chevrolet. Did a damage to the left side, too. Couldn't tell from our position here in the booth if there was contact leading up to the accident. Yeah, he's uh, a little upset there, looks like. Gets the mandatory ride back. Jim Bound back from uh, after that injury at Nashville. Let's look at the replay. This is the turn three. Oh, yes. That's why he's upset. And everybody else checks up. That could have been a lot worse, Mike, oh, than yeah. what we saw earlier. Yeah, four cars in the grass trying to get by. <laughs> so Jim walked away. He is all right. Not so for his dad Chevrolet there in the fence. And we're at 130 laps, 70 to go. The left side is jacked up on Dennis Setzer's car and the right side on Mike McLaughlin. They've both been in for lengthy pit stops and missed this restart. There are 15 cars on the lead lap. David Green, Randy LaJoy, Jeff Green, Kevin LePage having a great run in fourth. Todd Bodine in fifth, Larry Pearson sixth, Chad Little running in seventh. Dick Trickle, after being as far back as 31st, has climbed to eighth. Ninth is Glenn Allen, 10th Tommy Houston, 11th is Jeff Purvis, 12th last year's winner Tim Fedua. 13th is Doug Hevron. 14th is Bill Parsons. 15th, that would be Mike Stepanek. Let's also add one lap, or add Jason Keller, we're told, is also on the lead lap. Randy Porter makes a pit stop in the Universe Uniforms car. Looking out from Randy's windshield as he heads down pit road at 45 miles an hour, the mandated speed. Mike McLaughlin's also back on track. One lap down, Rodney Combs, Patty Moise, Dennis Setzer, Mark Green, Porter, Mike Olson is a lap back. So is Curtis Markham and the 55 of Bobby Dodder. Steve? Mike, uh, you mentioned Kevin LePage a second ago having a great run in fourth. He started this race in 18th. Hey, we should note, this is just his second start with the Riddling Motorsports team. Uh, Kevin LePage started the season with his own operation. It was underfunded. Pete Orr was let go from the 88. And again, just their second start. They'll be together for the remainder of the season. Well, good news and a good start. Tommy Houston's on pit road at 131 laps, 69 to go at Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Doubleheader with the NASCAR Modified Featherlight Tour for the fans here in the stands today. We'll be right back. They test car batteries here. They test pickup trucks here. And when they test yard machines, they go here. Dave Spivey's house. <laughs> 
MTD tractors, chipper shredders, lawn mowers, and edgers tackle the toughest jobs. Look for MTD yard machines at retailers near you. MTD. Wow! I like it! MTD yard machines, American made, American owned. Great big jobs of greasy, slimy garbage scum, dingy, sticky, pine tree gum, barbecue, fishy crumbs. Can't remember when I've had such good clean fun, a Coleman clean machine. Oh boy, here comes doggy do as thick as fudge, clumps of mud and axle sludge, stuff that used to never budge. Now I think I'll suck it to a hornet's nest. The Coleman power made clean machine. The first name in pressure washers. Get a tough case of athlete's foot, and you're benched. You get that itching, the cracking, the burning. And that's when you want a medicine at Axe Tough. Boom! Tough actin' tenactin. It cures even tough cases of athlete's foot. Get tough actin' tenactin. Peerless Fawcett didn't come up with the idea for a spout long and high enough to reach over and into large objects. We merely adapted it for the kitchen. High-rise faucet designs by Peerless. Get more out of your faucet than just water. Need a few parts? Pep Boys has everything you need. Have a nice weekend. 26,000 items at the guaranteed low price, tires and service too. Pep Boys, everything but gas. Today's exclusive coverage of the Core State's Meridian Advantage 200 on TNN is brought to you by Pep Boys. 26,000 items at the guaranteed low price, tires and service too. Everything but gas. And by Peerless Faucet. Get more out of your faucet than just water. Can't accept to go back to racing. A few more pit stops underway. Mike Dillon, Randy Porter is in. Also, Jeff McClure on pit road. And add Curtis Markham to the cars on the lead lap. Scoring update. We now have 17 cars on the lead lap. We'll be in South Boston, Virginia, June 8th with the Bush Grand National Tour here on TNN. And on Friday night, June 7th, the celebrity charity softball game in Danville, Virginia, Dan Daniels Park. The Bush Grand National drivers will be out to slaughter the media. Can you play softball? Against the media, yes. No, no, no. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> we need help. <laughs> like a Buddy Baker. He's designated hitter. He's going to whack some home runs. And we're going to have a lot of fun and raise some money for charity for youth athletics mm -hmm. in Danville and South Boston. It's got to make you feel good to have that kind of charity. Sure. All right, let's get out of Tommy Houston's pit. Here's Steve. Mike with uh, Tommy's son, Scott Houston, who has just rejoined the team. Scott, you guys have been on pit road. Uh, what's the problem? I uh, got in a little altercation with another car. I uh, had to pull the front fender out. I was afraid it was going to get black flagged. How's it feel to be back with your dad's team? Hey, it feels pretty good. We have all the executives from uh, Suburban Propane here, including the CEO. And uh, those guys are pumped up. We're pumped up and got a long way to go. He says the car is great. Well, folks, uh, just to show you, He's only been back a week, so he doesn't have a uniform. It says Leonard Houston. Yeah, I had to borrow my cousin's uniform. Oh, it'll be like a Mike Ricci's team where they call everybody dri Harry, including the driver. <laughs> Clyde McLeod's group was all, everybody was Harry on that uh, the Sherry Cups team also. A lot of that going on. Lenny Bowler, who owns the championship winning car in the Modified Tour, has never owned a shirt with Lenny. But everybody else. I've been in that situation. <laughs> You can bring a part of your favorite race team into your own home when TNN salutes motorsports at Opryland June 29th. There'll be a memorabilia auction. And you can bid on everything from autographed racing tires to crew uniforms, some of which have the right name on them. But all the proceeds will go to the National Arthritis Foundation. For information on the memorabilia auction or the other events at the TNN salute to motorsports at Opryland, call 615-889-6611 Monday through Friday. Dick Trickle back up and on the lead lap in ninth place. Having quite a climb here for fellow had no practice yesterday and spent the day and the evening in Charlotte racing around. He's had quite a drive toward the front. A lot of savvy there and, and when they pitted I watched him. I didn't see any major adjustments and I think it was just the fact of him getting accustomed to the car.
top ten looks like this. David Green, Randy LaJoy, Jeff Green, Jason Keller, Kevin LePage in fifth, Todd Bodine, Larry Pearson, Chad Little, Dick Trickle here in ninth place, and Phil Parsons, or excuse me, Glenn Allen in tenth. Rodney Combs right now a lap down to 18. Tommy, it's a shame, you know, Tommy had to go to the back of the lead lap cars and uh, He's got new right side tires, but they're not that new compared to everybody else. So uh, maybe we take a look and see if he can uh, make it back up through there like where he was. He had a great run going. Hey, give a call to John Munson from the uh, crew of Hermie Sadler's car. They've got him back on the racetrack. Try to pile up some points. Here's Phil Parsons currently in 14th place. He is on the lead lap. Jim McCulloch, the guy who invented Max race cards, has written a book. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun how to tell if you're a real race fan and it's kind of in a Jeff Foxworthy sort of theme as we look from Randy Porter's universe uniforms car the one I found touching I've done this <laughs> you tell people your phone number by Dale Rusty yeah. Ricky Jeff like that for people that have odd phone numbers can't remember them, you just line up cars with those numbers you can remember that you can remember your phone number I've used that trick for years me too to remember them. and I, I think every race uh, race fan has or people in race it's called how to tell if you're a real race fan and uh, it'll be in bookstores beginning in July it should be fun that's a lucky gym with that venture 63 laps to go and next time by we'll be back under the green flag 17 cars now on the lead lap but David Green and Randy LaJoy have been tough all day Simmons gives him the one to go sign from the top of the flag stand. And Rodney Combs lines up opposite David Green as the first car one lap down. Barry, what's the next stop for you with the trucks? Uh, we'll go to Tucson next week and uh, then we go to Denver and uh, back home to Topeka and then we go to Bristol. Pretty familiar with that. So we're headed back this way. Barry Dodson got his start in stock car racing at uh, Childress Community College. Yeah. Worked for Richard Childress. Uh, moved, uh, I, I guess, were you full-time or part-time or just when you could get there? I was full-time. Uh, we had two employees, Richard and myself. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he couldn't pay me, but we had a great time. Then moved on to uh, Richard Petty uh, College of Ireland. Yeah, University of Redmond. And, uh, learned a lot there and just, just moved on up. Okay, let's go to Steve quickly before the restart. Mike, we've just gotten a report. Todd Bodine has radioed in asking for a relief driver. He's very sick. He has a bad cold. They cannot find anybody. Jeff Fuller has left the track. Let's go back to green flag racing. Todd Bodine will have to tough it out. Slips inside the lap car of Patty Moise. We are back under green. 61 laps to go. start and he will bring out the caution. Buddy would have a joke for that, but I won't even presume. <laughs> that was uh, sponsored loyalty for sure. Though. So caution is out for the eighth time today, and this should be a quick one as McCarthy was able to get going again right away. 59 laps to go in Nazareth. We'll be right back. Race fans, enter the Pocono Raceway Promotion Engine Treatment Fantasy Sweepstakes and have a chance to win trips for two to the July 21st Miller 500 at Pocono, the August 3rd Brickyard 400, and the 1997 Daytona 500, plus $5,000 in cash. To enter the sweepstakes and receive free Promotion Engine Treatment literature, call toll-free 1-800-800-0987 or send your name, address, and phone number on a 3x5 piece of paper to this address. For a complete set of rules and a free Pocono Raceway ticket brochure, call 1-800-RACEWAY. get the most out of this IndyCar, Patrick Racing put Scott Pruitt behind the wheel. They built a team that could get it in and out of the pits in the blink of an eye. And they chose a battery they can depend on to get it started. The Duralast battery from AutoZone.
the same Duralast you can depend on to start your car. So don't settle for anything less. The Duralast battery. Power you can depend on. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. If I wasn't here, I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. These people just witnessed an amazing demonstration. We put this Duraloop treated engine through the ultimate torture test. We drained all the oil, all the water, then flooded it with a fire hose. It kept on running because Duraloop protects your engine like no other product can. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it myself. Now, let Duraloop make a believer out of you. Duraloop, peace of mind in a bottle. Maybe it's because their frames are welded instead of bolted. Or because their decks are stamped from a single piece of steel. Or maybe it's the fact that they have the highest resale value in the industry. Oh, hey, I always wanted one of these. Thanks. But the truth is, when people are asked what kind of lawn tractor they'd like as a gift, most say the same thing. Take 5,000 horsepower. Down a quarter mile. In less than five seconds. And what do you get? The NHRA on TNN Motors. Get ready. Get the tire turning, nitro burning, nose slowing, piston blowing, need for speed, take the lead, NHRA on TNN time. Live from Braceway Park, it's the Mobar Parts National. Today, 5 Eastern, 4 Central. It doesn't get any closer. No, he's smart. 
Stewart. I talked to him a long time yesterday. Uh, probably the longest I ever have. A lot of knowledge there. And, uh, you know, anybody can have a bad season, but to snap back from that and have the kind of year he's having is pretty phenomenal. David Green rides for the call. Butch Enders, the crew chief. Kirk Shelmerdine involved there. And here's third place on back. Youngest of the three brothers, Jeff Green. And the good ranch number three, Jason Keller. New daddy. New daddy, yep. And uh, Kevin LePage. Good run from LePage. Yes. Very good. His previous best year was only about 17 plays, so. Uh, had been. All right, here's LaJoy, where he's good on this racetrack. Does he drop the nose under? Yes, he does. David Green's car wiggles just a bit. Here's LaJoy diving in for the lead, and you saw David Green lift off the gas early for turn one. That's because he's leading the points, and that's what air pressure will do for you. <laughs> we call it air pressure down south. But in New Hampshire, See, Bertie spent a lot of years with Ron Bouchard. Yeah, he did. Yep. Yeah, pressure. Uh, you see, see Randy gets in there really good. The thing cuts. That's the same as putting more spring rate, more split in the back. If it holds up. Well, that'll be the question. Can Randy LaJoy keep the car under himself for 46 laps here? They've really driven away. Oh, yeah, certainly. No place as far as this duo is concerned. Look at the interval here. Way back, almost half the back stretch. Yeah, that's a great race, too. Todd Bodine, with an upper respiratory infection, he has just not been able to shake this cold. He says, usually on a hot day, a couple hours in the race car, will drain his sinuses. He says, that doesn't even happen. He is not feeling well. Let's show you again what happened. Take a look as they come down the front trail. You can see where David Green lifts. Let's Randy LaJoy slide under yeah. so he, as not to give up the whole corner. He knows Randy's all over him, and he knows Randy's going to pass him. He doesn't want him to hit him to pass him, and uh, he's going to hope right now Randy uses up his tires. And you know, too, Barry, this is how a lot of drivers say they drive this place like a road course. If this was a banked oval, you'd both go in there side by side and see who gets out first. Right. But on a road course, somebody dives into the corner, give him the corner, see if you can beat him or stay with him coming out. Right, and you can do that here. It's good and tight, but there's still a lot of room. 44 laps to go. Randy LaJoy seeks his first ever Bush Grand National victory. David and Jeff Green, Jason Keller trailing. We'll be right back. People say in the town of Flatwoods, the most exciting thing to do is sit around and watch the paint dry. Especially when it's Bear Premium Plus, only from Home Depot. It's going on so smoothly. Nice color. It's 100% acrylic. It's like putting a plastic shell on your house. And since Bear has a 15-year guarantee, these people know they won't be seeing this much excitement again for quite a while. Bear Premium Plus, the premium paint with a Home Depot price. I always use my favorite steak sauce. It's tradition. Every once in a while, I'm in the mood for something different. Something thick. Robust and hearty. <laughs> yeah, all right. New A1 Thick and Hearty. Too hot in your car? Don't sweat it. Now at Pep Boys, get a cool deal on our air conditioning quick check for only $19.99. Our AC quick check only $19.99. Pep Boys, everything but gas. Just up the road from Nazareth in Branchville, New Jersey, is Cedar Ridge RV Center, featuring Winnebago motorhomes like the one the TNN uses to get up and down the highway. Call 1-800-988-4884, and you'll see why Cedar Ridge is the choice of champions. 41 laps to go. Randy LaJoy has two car lengths on David Green. Not a lot of distance, but he's steadily been... Yeah, David, opening it up. David's watching him right now, hoping he'll use his tires up. And Dick Trickle's been coming through the field. He just put a pass there on Larry Pearson. And Dick Trickle moves up to seventh place. Just took him a while to get woke up, that's all. He was as far back as 31st in the early going. He was. He had a long night, or a short night, coming from Charlotte. And uh, got accustomed to the car, and, and here he goes. 
drives past the, it's not the Red Rex, it's the Red Rex sponsored car. Not yet. <laughs> Number 11 of Joey McCarthy. Boy, he is closing fast. Yes. He's, uh, Todd's not going to give him a hard time either. He feels too bad. There's the Bobby Jones on car. Jeff McClure on board the number 50. That's a couple of laps down. Four laps down. Rickle flashes fast. Yeah. First time here for Jeff. He's struggling, and uh, I told him, just act like you're running from the cops. That's the way you run a, <laughs> that's the way you run a road course the first time you go to it. That's what we used to tell Rusty, and uh, he'll get better. I think you're right. Barry Dodson won a couple of Winston Cup championships with Richard Petty and helped guide Rusty Wallace to his championship as well. And this year we're with Mike Bliss on the Craftsman Truck Series where they are that circuit's most recent winner. Later today, Ed Kennedy will be on the pole for the modified race here. Jan Leedy, the spring silver winner outside. Reggie Ruggiero, Mike Unitsko, champion Tony Hirschman, and Steve Martin are the front six. Mike Stepanek is the only driver here doing double duty in both races. As Doug Hebron in the Food Country Board slows in the back straightaway. Mike Olson moves around. Yeah, he had been 15th, I believe. Now, Trickle had a busy day being at the Winston Select, being here. Reggie Ruggiero had a busy night as well. He qualified as modified here, went up to Riverside Park to drive for Bill Pelly. Didn't make the feature, 100 lap feature. Tom Rosati started the car, lap 74, caution flag. Rosati comes in tires and Reggie in the car he comes through the back and in 24 laps wins the feature. Yeah, and if you know Reggie, that's not hard to believe. No, it's not. Great driver. Quite a drive. David Green is caught back up to Randy LaJoy. He's not going to let him get away here with 36 laps to go. And they have the whole front straightaway separating them from Jeff Green, Jason Keller. Kevin LePage, Todd Bodine, and Dick Trickle have caught that second group. There are your leaders working some traffic. And let's pick up this second pack because this battle is going to get good here in a second. Yeah, Jeff a Green. Race. You see Trickle has now caught Todd Bodine. Leaders out of turn one. It's a major breakthrough. Formula 2001 Super Protectant provides the most advanced protection against fading, drying, and cracking. And Formula 2001 has more active shining ingredients than Armor All. But what if your car's surfaces are already faded? See how Formula 2001 restores and protects vinyl, rubber, and leather. With more active shining ingredients than Armor All, Formula 2001 is the Super Protectant. And for 12 months of protective shine, get finished 2001 car polish. Enter the Performance Zone with Splitfire Performance B spark plug. You hit your passing gear, you're gone. Experts say Splitfire Performance B spark plugs mean more horsepower and better mileage. The difference in gas miles has been fantastic. Enter the Performance Zone only with Splitfire Performance V's guaranteed. And now, you could win a limited edition 97 Mustang Cobra. Enter the Splitfire Performance V sweepstakes. Is there any jealousy behind the scenes? Basically, in, in our sport, we're jealous of anybody that's out there winning. Catch last year's Winston Cup Series champion, Jeff Gordon, on Spotlight with Phyllis George, May 28th, on TNN. A news update. Is it true that the All-Star Steakhouse uses only top-quality beef? Yes. Is it true that the steaks are cut on the premises daily? That's true. Is it true that the All-Star has two giant screen TVs and seven 27-inch TVs? That's true, too. Do you have a kid's menu? Of course. Do you accept credit cards? My answer is here. Is it all? You serve Chinese food, too. Sure. Sorry, we don't have. The All-Star Steakhouse. Great steak. Reasonable prices. 44 News at 10 is designed for people who work for a living. A newscast at an early, convenient time, 10 o'clock, delivered in a fast 30 minutes. 
Not a long, boring hour like Channel 13. In fact, did you know that we cover as many news stories in our fast half hour as Channel 13 has in their entire slow 60 minutes? So get your news fast, get it first. And get some sleep. 44 News at 10. It's all the news. In half the time. Caution is out. The Joe Bessie car, Toshio Suzuki. Saitama, Japan. 41-year-old driver making his Bush debut. And run out the caution. And uh, lost the left front of the car. He now has a three-wheeler. A three-wheel Suzuki. That is. Don't get me started. <laughs> He's okay. He's about to climb out. Knocked the whole left front corner off it. Brake hose is hanging out. Yep. And you can say he is okay, but Joe Bessie's Chevrolet is not. No, it didn't. So that'll be caution number nine. We have 28 laps to go, so it's going to get a little more interesting here. We'll see if Randy LaJoy has enough to hold off David Green when we come back. Most of our customers are folks who like to work on their cars themselves. But the ones who come in most often are those who work on cars for a living. Guys like Ed Graven. Now, Ed's garage is in Ogden, Utah, where most of the time you'll find him pulling an engine or sliding under a car. And just about every day, he drives past a half dozen other parts stores on his way to AutoZone. Because Ed knows that when it comes to getting the right part for the right price, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Extreme. Try strapping yourself with a 4,000 pound rocket. Then run at 220. Six inches away from 41 of your closest friends. Real close. NASCAR. Extreme and always has been. Bush. The official beer of NASCAR and always has been. Welcome back to Nazareth. 26 laps to go as they hook up Suzuki's number nine to the record. And we get set for the restart. A number of lead lap cars made pit stops. We'll update that in a moment. Here's what happened. Oh, what a feeling. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Hard hit with the left front of that car. Today's AutoZone Tech Fact is brought to you by the more than 1,300 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. Barry? Four or five years ago, it was giving me three rounds of wedge, four rounds of wedge. It doesn't work anymore. The reason? A radial tire. It's got a belt. Here's a perfect example. Here's your radial right here on the racetrack. Here's your old bias ply tire. Here at Nazareth, a right front spring that's very common in a car, or maybe even a truck, is like a 900 pound spring rate. Put two more pounds of air in that right front tire, all of a sudden with a radial, because it won't compress because of the inertia of the belt that acts like a spring, you got a 950. That's the way you make a chassis adjustment with a radial tire. 
A lot of those adjustments made today to compensate for cool overcast weather for practice and qualifying and a hot, sunny day for the race. They have pushed the dial Pure X4 to Patty Moise behind the wall and back to the garage area. Let's check in Dick Trickle's pit. Here's Steve. With Brian Schaefer, who is Dick Trickle's crew chief. Brian, you guys have really gotten this car hooked up. You've got 25 laps to go. Can he get to the front? I think um, we're pretty good right now. I don't know if we can get all the way to the front. We come from the back and we wore tires out pretty good. But we're going to give her a shot. What is Dick saying? Is he, does he like the way the car feels right now? Uh, Dick said we're just a little bit loose now. and We started out, we were way too tight. So we went a little bit too far on the adjustments. But the uh, door loop Chevrolet has been running good. Tom Peck qualified and practiced that car yesterday as Chad Little makes a pit stop. Now, under this caution, lead lap cars, Jeff Purvis, Tommy Houston, Phil Parsons, Curtis Markham, and Doug Hebron have made pit stops. Now Chad Little gives up 10th place to come in. He will drop to 16th. The last car on the lead lap, according to our, our unofficial count, Kelly Moore and Herbie Sadler are also in. Looks like four tires, not a bad move. Uh, he can give up the track position because he was, he was fading back anyway. Unbelievable the difference from last season when Chad ran the Ford to this season. He is not, I don't believe, had a top 10 finish this year. And so now we'll come out 16, hoping in these last 23, 22 laps of green flag racing to be able to post that first top 10. One to go next time by. The Bush Series heads for Charlotte next week, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Check in Wednesday, race Saturday. Yep, we're back in the desert. Yes, out of Tucson. That's a great <laughs> racetrack, Barry. You're going to love Tucson Raceway Park. I'll give you my restaurant list. Buddy and I put together quite a list from Winter Heat there a couple of years ago. I know Buddy had a good one, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to going. It's going to be hot, and it's, this is the first hot weather we've had up here. Getting set for the restart. Randy LaJoy looking for his first ever Bush Grand National win. David Green right behind him as we move up in line with Randy Porter. We get set for this restart. It's LaJoy, Green and Green, David and Jeff. Jason Keller in fourth, Dick Trickle. As far back as 31st, he is now up to fifth. Kevin LePage in sixth. Seventh will be Todd Bodine. Eighth, Larry Pearson. Ninth, last year's winner, Tim Fedewa. And tenth, Glenn Allen, the leading rookie. 11th, Tommy Houston. These are all cars that pitted. Jeff Purvis, Bill Parsons. As we get set for the restart. Good restart. Oh, Green is locked right underneath. Randy LaJoy as they go to turn one. You're riding with Trickle as he sweeps up high. Can't take advantage of Jason Keller. And they move under Rodney Combs, who has been the first car one lap down for quite some time. He is 17. There's Trickle moving past as you ride with Rodney Combs. Turn four. Front seven cars, single file, lead lap. It's going to get good. 22 to go. Jeff Green is right with them. There is no breakaway by those first two cars. And Randy's been pushing up a little bit off turn four. He needs to keep that car down. That's where David's getting on it. Off five and down the front straightaway. got Randy, I said, Randy, use the brakes to slow the car down. Don't drive in too hard and protect the body. 
Turn four right on the bottom and up here into five. Big, long, high sweep of a corner. He's got his rhythm back now. Yep. Tim Fiedelman just got past Larry Pearson at turn one. That'll change eight plays. David Green, first victory of Dublin, Virginia, 1991. 1994 at Bristol. Last year at Nashville, this year at Hickory. Looking for win five. There's Trickle, just ahead of Jason Keller now. And Kevin LePage. Trickle up to fourth place. That's the drive of the day in my book. He is a great driver. He filled in a team three for us for about ten races and uh it's amazing what he can do with a race car. He's that, he has so much savvy and experience. Randy LaJoy is pulling away and may leave the Green Brothers to fight for second spot. Turn one, four, cars are in it. Make that seven. And the track's blocked too right now. And a couple of them may drive away. Mike Olson, McClure. McCarthy, is that Hermie Sadler again? No, it's uh, there's McClure driving away. Tom Bowles is in it. Kelly Moore, the Bush North champion, and Randy Porter are the cars involved. And Randy LaJoy will lead them down the grass and onto the warm-up lane to get past. The whole front end is torn from Tom Bowles' car. He's sitting in, moving around. Randy LaJoy has also dropped the window net. That's the indication of the safety crews that the driver is okay. And they rescue workers over talking with Kelly Moore. Again, Moore took a hard hit from the outside. Let's look at the replay and show you what happened. Somebody gets into the back of, of Sadler and the 50 car, and there's Porter. Now those three cars, one spins to the bottom, a fourth car in. Here comes the second group. Tom Bowles, the white car, spins to the side and in, and Kelly Moore comes in from the outside. Now let me explain to you why the second part of this wreck happened after we see this angle from coming out of turn one. There's the 50 car getting turned around. Jeff McClure, Sadler. Now you see this second impact where Bowles comes in and spins his white car, comes in there, and Kelly Moore is in as well. I don't believe we have a camera angle to show you this, but the position of those cars is just past the end of pit road as you look at it from the top of the grandstand where the spotters sit. There's a second group of spotters past the bridge, but that area entering turn one is kind of blind even to the spotters at both locations. So it's a very difficult spot for the spotters to call to the cars that are coming into that area. There you can see spotters up at the top of that grandstand. And let's show you from Randy Porter's view what he drove into. were side by side the 50 car got down got a little loose and lifted off the throttle Sadler was on the throttle got into him Porter got into him just a chain reaction collision there's Tom Bowles climbing out the Ellington Connecticut driver who got his first Bush North win last year at Stafford Springs Connecticut he is okay it was a little woozy climbing out but he's got a cold towel around his neck he's all right Mike McLaughlin, also involved in that incident, has gone behind the wall. One of those freight train chain reaction collisions brings out the caution. At Sitco, when you team up our super premium gasoline with our super guard motor oil, 
you'll get all the high performance and reliability you demand. So, prepare yourself to be totally blown away. Super premium performance. Sitco says go. One of these hammers is jacketed in high-impact polycarbonate. The other one is broken. The fiberglass jacketed hammer from Stanley. When asked, nine out of ten people say they'd rather be on vacation than at home. Come on. Do you have to? I have to practice. Mom, she's a trade professional. Of course, most of the people they asked didn't own a John Deere. Because in survey after survey, folks are more satisfied with John Deere than other lawn tractors. Honey, it's green. It sure is. Anything? Nothing runs like a deer. Where does Napa keep over 200,000 different parts? Right up here. Now remember, your belt tension on this is critical. What kind of car is it? Well, I'll sell you all the struts you want, but I wouldn't recommend putting them in without the right tools. I'm sure we have it. Okay, is it a 77 or a 78? Because they changed the carburetor in 78. Actually, that's not a stupid question at all. I know what it used to be. You don't stay at Napa long handing out the wrong answers, and I'm not planning on going anywhere. America Want to use lots less soap? Then you'd better call your RainSoft water treatment dealer today. Today's exclusive coverage of the Core State's Meridian Advantage 200 on TNN is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. At Napa, we keep America running. And by RainSoft water treatment equipment. Quality water for you and your family that's dependable by nature. Cleanup continues as commercial transportation for our telecast is provided by Ryder, the official transportation company of Opryland. There are the spotters at the top of Section D in the Turn 5 Grandstand, the brand new high-rise grandstand that'll be extended along more of Nazareth Speedway. And you'll see what blocked their view from the accident site is the scoring pylon. It's a direct line of sight from the spotter's perch through that pylon. You cannot see this part of the exit of turn one. And likewise, the bridge at turn two blocks the view of the spotters down in that grandstand from this area. There's the bridge. They can't see through that. So it's kind of a blind spot from both angles. That's kind of why there was the secondary collision. The spotters could not warn the drivers in time what was there. The 50 car checked up. Sadler got into him. Porter got into him. There's Mike Dillon, 72. Olsen spinning to the inside. McLaughlin checks up here. But Tom Bowles piles into McLaughlin, and so does Kelly Moore. day, Barry, about how narrow that racetrack gets when even just one car gets sideways. Yeah, and it looks like a corner there, but what happens at this racetrack, after you cross the past finish, uh, the start finish line, you get back on the gas. The bowls and those guys coming in were like full speed. Listen to Randy Porter's car. You'll see here, he's on the throttle when this happens. <laughs> I felt that up here. <laughs> You're just getting back into the throttle. You could hear Hermes' car ahead on the throttle. Randy just starting to get back into it. But the 50 car got him a little loose and out of the gas. And when you're that close, that's what happens. A little bit of sweeping going down in turn one. We are going to get this race back under green. There are 10 laps to go. Now, Barry, they went down to the warm-up lane from the racetrack to get around the incident. Right. If I'm Birdie right now, I'm telling, I'm telling Randy, okay, you're on the warm-up lane. 
they, they've drug in a bunch of cars today from this crash bed. There's nuts, bolts, washers out there, a lot of radial tire rubber as you leave the pits. You got to really, really look for it, stay out of that stuff. And when you get back on the racetrack, you got to really work hard on cleaning your tires up That's to just, get a good restart. That's just what he's been doing, is scrubbing those tires back and forth to clean them of rubber and debris. Let's go to the second place cars pit. Here's Steve. Mike with Kirk Shelmerdine, who's a team consultant. Kirk ran fourth in Charlotte last night in ARCA race. Got here at 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, crew chief Butch Enders and team owner Buzz McCall are both spotting. So, Kirk, uh, the pressure, I guess, is on you to answer the question. Can you get around the 74 of Randy LaJoy? Well, they're pretty strong today. I think we kind of got the second best car, but David's trying everything he can to, to try to take advantage of a traffic situation or something like that. He's pretty good at that kind of thing. We'll just sort of have to stand here and watch and see how it goes. Has David said that uh, whether or not he thinks he can get by him? He, uh, no, he doesn't know. He, you know, if you get an opening, you go for it. If you don't get one, you, you know, you wait till next week. But uh, he's doing the best he can. And from watching the whole race today, it appears we're just a little bit off of them uh, speed-wise or gear-wise or something. But uh, he's doing the best he can. Thanks, Kirk. A little damage to the nose of the Joy's car you saw there as we get set for the restart. We're under 10 laps to go. This will be a single file restart. See if we can get one to go out of Carl Simmons on the flag stand this time. He's looking up at the tower like, uh, how about it? See if cleanup is complete. And we're gonna go another lap or so. Mm. And it, it's not just the two cars up front. I mean, we got a heck of a race going on all the way back to Todd Bodine. And Dick Trickle is up to fourth. From as far back as 31st, Trickle's best Bush Series finish, second at Charlotte in 1990 and 1991. Ride in the Dura Loop Chevy. The other drive of the day, I talked to Todd Bodine this morning, and he has got a bad sinus condition and congestion, and the fact that he's been able to hang on to that car and keep it up in the top seven spots speaks volumes for, for this young fellow's dedication. Turn one, Hermie Sadler, a lot of smoke from the back of that car. I believe whatever they use to hold the rear end in place has broken yet again. It's a broken Panhard bar again. That's that's two in one day, and, and they're getting him off right now, and Hermie's just trying to make laps and and, uh, and get some points, and he did the right thing right there. He was starting to uh, spread some rubber down. He's in the garage. See how far the left thing looks like a modified the rear end so offset to the left. Yeah. The body to the right or take your pick. But these cars rely on that pattern rod to locate the rear left to right. You broke it once as you saw underneath the car and now again. One to go. We will finish this under green. Or at least we'll st we'll restart to finish this under green. Yeah, here we'll we see go. what happens. It's gonna be great. There are now seven laps to go. Randy LaJoy driving for Bill Bumgarner and the team that won the championship with Johnny Benson last year. Base Motorsports, FINA the sponsor. Buzz McCall's American Equipment Racing. David Green at the wheel. And right after this telecast, we'll be going to Ontario for the Sunoco Ultra 94 Trans Am race. Buzz McCall owns the Sunoco Camaro in that race that you'll see next year on TNN. Ron Fellow's the driver. So we'll have six laps to settle this out. Okay, you see them clean their tires off. And you got a few veteran yeah. short trackers at the front. There's no short tracker more veteran than Dick Trick. <laughs> for your average Saturday night shootout. We'll go six laps. Everybody's on their feet. Can Randy LaJoy hold off David Green? We're about to find out. Pace car is in. Green flag. Single file restart. Tommy Houston caught uh, Larry Pearson there missing a gear or napping and grabbed a spot. We're with Dick Trickle, fourth place. Whoa! Sideways was David Green. And everybody had to check up. Green must not have gotten his tires cleaned off. LaJoy down to block. Green on the bottom. Can't make the pass. Turn five right here for Randy's Get beside it. Get it down, get it down, get it down. Way up high is LaJoy. Here comes David Green, and LaJoy slams the door in his face. Five laps to go. It's Randy four or five laps up here. Turn five to get his rhythm back to get the car low. He's got to continue to do that to beat David. David Green trying to get up and under Randy LaJoy and loosen him up. 
Back straight away. Four circuits left. Jeff Green in third. Trickle in fourth. David Green puts the pressure on. This time, LaJoy holds a tight line on turn five. Tires paying off for Tommy Houston. Yes, Tommy Houston has climbed up into the top ten, and so has Chad Little. That stop one caution to go for tires has paid off. Chad Little hoping to post his first top ten of the year. He's up high again at turn five. Here comes David. He can't hear me. <laughs> if only you could talk to him. Tommy Houston put the pressure on Ty Bodine now. That'll be for seventh spot. Three laps to go. Boy, Green had the car hung out that time coming off turn three. Off turn five once again. David Green right in his tire tracks this time. Two laps to go. Third place battle trickle all over Jeff Green. And Jason Keller's right there. And so is Kevin LePage. And Tommy Houston is going to run out of time, but he is closing fast. Backstretch. faces the white flag. Last lap, and he has two car lengths now on David Green. He's got a lot of motor, too. You can see it up the back stretch. Houston has passed Kevin LePage. Full time Houston up into sixth place. What a drive. This is it, folks. David Green, the point leader, thinking championship, pulls up to within a car length of Randy LaJoy. If LaJoy can just hold it down on turn number five, he'll win his first Bush Grand National Race. David Green in second, retains the point lead. Jeff Green in third, Dick Trickle in fourth, Jason Keller fifth, and up to sixth, Tommy Houston. Well, that's a happy bunch down there. care who it is, but when somebody gets the first one, that is pretty good. Randy LaJoy with Steve Bird. His dad, Don LaJoy, is in that pit, a many-time modified champion. Birdie with his arm in the air, and so too. Our winning driver, Randy LaJoy, Jeff Green, pulls up to congratulate him. We'll be right back. The luxury bands, the official bands of tracks, teams, and drivers throughout the NASCAR world. Call 1-800-445-2825 for a dealer near you. For cars that can benefit from higher octane, Texaco Clean System 3 Power Plus and Power Premium are formulated to clean your engine's intake valves, fuel injectors, and combustion chambers while you're driving to give you smooth starts and sure acceleration. Just give us five tanks, and we think Power Plus and Power Premium will make quite an impression on you. Add more life to your car! Take it to the star! In the Stanley Laboratories, we find out just how good our decorative mirror doors are by opening and closing them over 100,000 times. Funny, isn't that the same way you do it? Decorative mirror doors from Stanley. Great big gobs of greasy, slimy garbage scum, dinky, sticky, pine tree gum, barbecue, fishy crumbs. Can't remember when I've had such good clean fun, the Coleman clean machine. Oh boy, here comes doggy do as thick as fudge, clumps of mud and axle sludge, stuff that used to never budge. Now I think I'll suck it to a hornet's nest. The Coleman Power Made Clean Machine. The first name in pressure washers. In South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts, and they find helpful people, like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems, and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. 
Hey, you're a guy, and guys want to stay cool. How do you do it? With new Speed Stick Gel, proven to keep you drier than any other gel. It's the best gel protection. New Speed Stick Gel, just for the guys. Today's exclusive coverage of the Core State's Meridian Advantage 200 on TNN has been brought to you by Texaco Clean System 3 Gasoline. Add more life to your car. Take it to the star. And by Stanley. Since 1843, Stanley has been helping people do things right. Well, after a fling at uh, Winston Cup Racing and several years in the Bush Grand National Circuit, the pride of Norwalk, Connecticut, Randy LaJoy has made it to victory lane. Quick look at the rundown. LaJoy, the winner, David Green, the point leader, second, Jeff Green, third, Dick Trickle, fourth, Jason Keller, fifth, sixth, the Tommy Houston, seventh, Kevin LePage, eighth, Tim Fedewa, last year's winner, ninth was Chad Little, and Todd Bodine hung in there for tenth. Quick look at the finish. Uh, Chad Little and Todd Bodine transposed there to thank them ninth and tenth. Glenn Allen, another good run for the rookie. Phil Parsons, Purvis, Mike Stefanik, the first Bush North finisher. And look on down through the list. These last few cars ended up on the hook at the end of the day. Steve Burns in victory lane. Randy LaJoy, man, I know a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this victory. How does it feel? I don't know what took me so long. Uh, I just, uh, I can't say enough for this base motorsports fina. All our associate sponsors, Goodyear, K-Tech Engines. Finally, put me in a victory lane. I've been close a lot of times, and uh, just never seen we got there. You know, today we beat David Green. He's probably the best bush driver around right now. This team was the best last year. We're gonna, we're gonna get back to that form. And uh, the only way to win the points is to beat that 95 car. And we did it today. We were really good on long runs. I really didn't want to see those caution flags. But, uh, you know, Steve Bird and the guys here in base motorsports, again, they just gave me a great race car. And, uh, you know, my dad, my family, I did something that my dad always told me to do. Late in the race, you flip the mirror up and uh, don't even worry about the guys behind you. And I did that, and uh, it sure did work. Uh, you know, but once again, you know, the tires are really good. The Goodyear tires are great. Uh, I got in the back of the lap car there for a little while. But other than that, uh, I had a great day. It's been a great day for me, and uh, I got it a good thing.